Welcome back to another Wii Do tutorial. Today we're going to go over the last bit of the parts of the tutorial. So you're just going to open up the app per usual. If this is your first project, you can press this button. And if this is your first project and you want to get caught up on everything else that we've shown, everything about the app, you can go back and watch our other Wii Do tutorials all in order and everything. Just get caught up and know everything. If this is just another project and you've already done this, you can press here. It doesn't matter which one you pick, it just makes a new project. So I'm going to go to this one that I've already made. You have, you always have the start button here, you press it and it'll run the program that is that you have lined up. So first we're going to go over sounds. This is the music block, or the sound block, whatever you want to call it. It just gives out sound. Um, so here, just like your color sensor, you press here and you choose which color you want to show. It does the same thing, but instead of colors, it does sounds, different sounds. So this, and you get that sound. And you can really play the part. If you press the play button, it makes that sound. After this, we have the pictures. Another thing. Another thing you can do with this, or any block really, is you can go to the very end here, scroll down to the very end, and you have this little dice, this die. If you bring it, you can see it fits right into here. And like a lot of the other blocks here, they also have this little up here where you can put that in. So something I want to show you with that is what it does. This little dice, if you press the play, press a ran it it play at a random one. So that's what that die does. It's a randomizer. So if you put that on here, it'll play It'll show a random color. You can't see it now because I don't have my block connected, but it'll just do random, like this, showing a picture. Can show a random picture. Now with the picture, I've already gone over pictures in our previous we do tutorial, which is this. But not that. That is the mathematics function. We go over that. But with the picture, you can use this button, and you can click on it to do different to move it different places without actually touching it. So if you press this, the randomizer, and it'll just go away because that's what this one does. This one moves it, makes it smaller. This makes it bigger. And this just puts it away. So let's make it bigger. So you can see that made it much bigger. So instead of pressing these, you can just use that. Now with the, for the mathematics function. This is the mathematics function. You can put whatever number here, and then put this here. This, you can put another whatever here, or a different function, like a, a negative or a positive number, decimal numbers, any number you want, really. And here you see that this is a plus sign. This is for addition. 
This is a subtraction, subtraction symbol. This is multiplication. This is division. And back to the start. So you can do that. And it will show you whatever number you get. So 9 plus 3. Now let's just do simple right now. 2 plus 2. What does that get you? 4. So it'll come up, it'll show you that, and that's simple as that. You can even use this, probably make it smaller, just in case you want to just do a simple mathematics function and just get rid of it. You could even put like a weight block here until it goes away, something like that, anything you want. And last thing, are these these are your last little button things little attachments you could say so with these this you can see if you you should have a little motor type thing it's called a sensor you should have a sensor with your brick, and you have these two different depth. It knows this one knows it's a motion sensor, so it senses motion. This one senses how far you are from things. It's ultraviolet; it can see how far you are. This one, it senses loudness. So your microphone here. Every time I'm talking, it shows. It shows how loud my voice is, and it can get louder. I'm not going to show what the loudest is going to be because that'll hurt your ears. So you can attach these on to any of these, really. So you move it, and it'll probably it'll change colors. You can even press them to show when should it notice. When it's going backwards, forwards, both ways, or just stand still. Should this know when it's just moved in general, when it's moved to that side, the right side, backwards, forwards, or just staying. So yeah. That's the end of the We Do tutorials. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can make more helpful tutorials, videos, etc. in the future. And we know that you're still watching.